Diana Denmark here, rah, 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 and we are on to day four, can, I, can you believe it, of our little fun challenge for this week, which is the why on earth have I been hanging on to this item declutter challenge. And remember, we're, we're just going for one item in each of the fly lady zones. You don't even have to be following the zones. Just pick something that you have been holding on to probably for years and you haven't really had a good reason for holding on to, or, or maybe it's you know just been that kind of, oh, that kind of uh, feeling of wanting to hold on to the past. Uh, I, I've been I've been trying to show you that, you know, we, we don't have to hold on to every single thing. We've really got to see clearly here, uh, and you know, and sometimes actually taking a step back and looking at it with with through someone else's eyes, of why are we holding on to this thing. Uh, because we want to hold on to those really, really precious things that, that bring out the good memories, but we don't need to hold on to every single little thing. So anyway, I, I'm, I'm working here in Zone Catla, uh, Fly Lady Zone 4, which is a master bedroom. Uh, maybe you're still at that stage where you're, you're holding on to everything from clothing that doesn't fit you to... Um, perhaps you've got some sweaters that have got holes in them and you're thinking, mm, I'm going to repair those. You know, if you are going to repair those, get your sewing basket out and sit tonight, set your timer for 15 minutes and actually do it. Please don't be holding on to these things that if you're not actually going to follow through, because you know what happens, it kind of sits there and the, it just kind of gets bigger and bigger in your head and you've got all that guilt and, oh, you know, I should just, it, it's maybe just time to make the decision and let it go. Because I, I've, I've mentioned this for all these piles that you have, if you've still got piles and piles of, of, um, of clutter, it's piles of procrastination. You're not making a decision on these things. But anyway, for, for most of us, we're, we're already through the decluttering process once or twice, but we've still got those things that have been hanging on to. Goodness knows why we're holding on to them. Anyway, let, let me show you what I've found for today. And remember, just go for one item. But the idea here is just to kind of open your eyes to why you're holding on to stuff. And here are some things which I'm going to let go of today. I've actually got more than one. And you know how it happens, you know, you, you see one thing and then suddenly, oh, okay, actually I can let go of a few things. Right, um, now these are all items that I've had for many, many years. I'm 52 and most, I think these items I've had since I was between 10 and 15 years old. Now, I've got a little um badge here which is silver of a little moon and you can see it needs a good polish i, ne I, I never actually like this uh, little silver brooch I, I don't know i can't even remember where it came from but again it was one of those things that when i left home uh, and then i moved to luxembourg and then we moved here to copenhagen it just kind of <laughs> followed with me and you know what happens, it ends up in the bottom of the jewellery box and then you're you're choosing something else. So this is, the, I'm going to let go of this today, I'll, I'll give it a wee uh, clean up and that will go to the clothes swap party. And this, uh, goodness knows how old this is, uh, why on earth have I hang on to this? Now it's a wee uh, brooch again with a couple of wee Scotty dogs on it. Now. I can't even clean this up. It's a kind of very, very old plastic. This is probably from about the 19, I'm guessing 1950s, 1960s. It's not even cute. or So I think that's just going to be decluttered. Okay, and I don't even know where that came from. It could have come from my granny's. The next item is, is my granny's. Uh, <laughs> this is a really, I'm just going to say it. It's a really cheap, tacky souvenir. Probably from one of my granny's trips to Spain, probably Mallorca. And it, it was just one of those, I kind of kept it for dressing up. I think that's why I, I had it. You can see it's got all the little motifs uh, from Spain. And it is, it's really cheap now. It is definitely not gold. And as I said to you, I've just kind of hold it, held on to it for uh, dressing up purposes. And you know what? I don't... <laughs> Even if it belonged to my granny, you know, I've got other stuff from my granny. I don't need to hold on to this one. Even my granny wouldn't uh, kind of be seen de dead in that. My, my, my granny um, loved costume jewellery. Uh, and I'm thinking she was probably a type three in Dressing Your Truth because she was always, she was very, I was kind of scared of my, I love my granny, but she was quite kind of scary, my granny. And my granddad was 
so gentle i'm pretty sure he was probably a type two or maybe a type one two uh but you know even my granny wouldn't have when I've held on to this one, that's why I got it. So this this one is going. I might take it to the clothes shop because it, it's the clothes swap uh, party because it is kind of quite a fun one. But I'm not needing to hold on to. It. I've got other things for my granny, and this one is one that I've, I'm pr pretty sure I probably bought it from a charity shop. As I've mentioned before, when I was a teenager in Edinburgh, I used to go to uh, all the charity shops. I used to love you know getting things that nobody else had. And nobody else wanted probably a reason behind that uh, and the shop Herman Brown and I know a, a couple of you who, who are in Edinburgh remember Herman Brown and I think Herman Brown is still there I think my mum told me it's still there anyway this is one from um, a charity shop uh, quite nice glass beads but I, I, I really it's, I, I don't like necklaces that come away up here and please don't start saying well you know I could convert it I'm letting go of it okay I've got plenty of uh, nice jewellery if you want to go making it into something else, that's fine. But be careful when you have that thought of, oh, you know, I could use the beads for something else. Are you really going to use it? Uh, you know, if you're a crafter, great. I am not a crafter. Um, th this is going to go to the close up and one, one of the ladies there will probably enjoy it. So anyway, uh, I hope you're doing well with our little, why on earth I've been holding on to this item for so long challenge. And I hope you've been able to let a few things uh, go this week. Remember, when you're letting them go, let's do it responsibly. Uh, you know, recycling, uh, women's shelter, uh, another family member, but, but don't go, you know, um, annoying the family saying, oh no, you, you know, you must hold on to it because it was granny's, whatever. They don't want it you know just you know charity shop uh recycling just let's let's let go of these things so we can really you know enjoy and appreciate the things that we do love and we do want to hold on to so anyway on that note i'm going to give you a rah 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 uh, and i'll see you tomorrow for day five our final day Ooh, drum roll please so anyway live long and prosper may the danish tree be with you well i should put the light on because something's gone very dark here anyway never mind uh, and i shall see you tomorrow okay bye for now